Melhoff Security and Technology sets the standard for all your intrusion alarm systems, specializing in audio, video, surveillance, home theater, and door access needs. Call Melhoff Security, your local secure tech dealer, for a free consultation today. Earl, um, can you explain to us exactly um, where this car came from, a bit of its history? Well, it was a 1929, or still is a 1929 uh, sleeper built by Pullman Company, leased the CPR and eventually sold to Canadian Pacific Railway and it was used in service for quite a number of years until 1958 and it is one of only five that were built to this particular style and four others were destroyed a number of years ago leaving this one which CPR turned into a work car with propane stove inside for the uh, work crews to go out on the line and do whatever and uh, then it was uh, left Winnipeg rather derelict and the uh, Kiwanis here uh, organized a move of it to here was the thought of it becoming a uh, information center uh, part of the downtown business district uh, at the location of what is now Fattis Park or the old City Hall location but when they discovered it would cost perhaps up to a million dollars to restore it then uh, it was abandoned and it's uh, basically been moved from pillar to post on tracks around the city uh, for a number of years. It became the possession of Medalta for a while with the idea of making some use of it, but it really doesn't fit into the scheme of things as far as the historic clay district is concerned. And so, I mean, so 16 years, this, this uh, I guess we could call it a classic uh, sleeper car for, uh, for the Canadian railway system. Absolutely. Um, it's, it's been left, obviously the state of it, it yeah, today is, is quite It's down. been generated uh, through vandalism and just dereliction, you know, uh, in many ways. So it would cost a lot of money, several hundred thousand dollars, to make any sort of use out of it anywhere. And uh, I've been in touch with a number of museums, and no one is really interested in it. So, uh, in all likelihood, in the next little while, uh, the uh, car itself will be lifted up with a crane and the wheels taken off it. They are unique. They're like what are used on the CPR uh, trains that are used on their special runs, the yeah. old passenger cars. And uh, those trucks with those six wheels on them. Are, are rare, so CPR is going to take those away, and uh, the rest of the unit will just go for scrap. I just had a curiosity, I, I didn't notice that the six wheel uh, trucks, now I guess that must be unique. Uh, was that to give extra comfort for the sleeping passengers? No, it's simply the weight of the car. That's a long car, that's 80 feet long and weighs about 80 tons. When, uh, when it was full with all the uh, fancy woodwork and all the, you know, the uh, berths in there and so on. Uh, uh, there are two, uh, four sets of two windows there on each side, and those were the eight berths that were in this, along with uh, two private uh, sleeping rooms and a lounge area as well. So now it's going to scrap. I mean, is there any chance of uh, uh, avoiding that fate for this uh, real car? Only if somebody steps forward and says we want it. And it's theirs for free at this point in time, you know, because uh, it would take an enormous amount of money, as I said, to uh, fix this up.